Hey guys, it's Member, and today I wanted to show you a wearable pink tutorial. And I'm really just going to focus on the eyes. I'm not going to focus too much on anything else. Um, if you know me, I'm really not into pink. Like, it's never really been my color. But, um, recently I really liked pink and, like, on my eyes. Like, I don't know, just really started liking it lately so right now I, i'm just priming my eyes like i always do that same concealer as always even though i got it underneath my eye then i'm gonna blend that out with my cute little pink blender Then I'm gonna set it with my air spun. So now that that's set, today I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to take my favorite big fluffy blender brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Electric. Oops. This one, it's the light pink in the palette. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So I kind of just want to... Get this everywhere. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller um, blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Dippy. It's the hot pink in the palette. I just want to focus this in the crease. I don't want to do anything crazy. I don't want the shade to go too crazy, too high. Or anything like that. And I'm going to go back in with that first brush and a little bit more of the shade electric. Just a tiny bit. Just to blend it out. As you can see, the difference in my eyes. Ready? And then just gonna do the same thing on the other side.
And same thing, going back into that electric shade, just to blend everything. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of like a fluffier packing type brush and I think today I'm gonna go in with this shade escape and I want to just pack this all over the lid Okay. Yeah, it looks a little crazy, but we're going to go back in with this brush and a little bit of Dippy, and we're going to blend the two colors together. Okay, and then you want to go on back in with a little bit of electric. This look does take a little bit of blending, but it's the end is worth it. And then, since you kind of took a little bit of that color away, you just want to go back in with a little bit of the shade. Nothing too crazy. And deepen that back up. And it's like a pink smoky eye. Then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, back in with a little bit of dippy. And then back in with a little bit of electric. Deepen up, escape again. And now I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eyes and do my face makeup and I'll be right back. Well, my face makeup is done, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the under eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk brush. Again, don't know what it's called. And I think I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit of Dippy, that hot pink again. I'm gonna run this my lower lash line. I like to connect the outer corner up top.
Okay. Now that I've got that placed, I'm going to go back in with that very first brush and some electric and blend out Dippy. I want a little bit more blend or pre precise blending. I'll go ahead and squeeze it so it's flat. Looks like this. I honestly don't think any girl can make a cute face while they're doing that. So. Okay, and that's what the eye should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Luxie 245 small shader brush. I'm going to highlight the inner corner and my brow bone. To use that, I'm going to go in with the Malibu Glitz Pro Glow Party Light Highlighting Palette. Got this off of Hush. I'm going to go in with this shade called Space. It's the same highlighter I have on my face. gonna highlight my inner corner and then my brow bone Okay. Now the last thing needed to complete this look is some mascara. Today I'm going to go in with the Marc J Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara in the shade Noir Black. This is one of my favorite mascaras because of what it does to my lashes. Makes them so nice and thick and I did get it on my eyes. Okay, if you ever get eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, if you ever get mascara on your eyelid or under your eye or something, don't touch it, let it dry, and then go in with a clean fluffy brush or a Q-tip, and it should come right off. That's only if you let it dry completely. But like, look at the difference this makes in my lashes, like, it's so good. The only downfall about this is it will start to flake throughout the day. At least on me it does. I don't know about other people, but... There we go. This is the finished look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do think that this is a little bit more of a wearable look for pink, even though it does have, even though it is like bright, it's not the whole eye. So I feel that this is wearable. Um, if you don't think that this is wearable, it can always, you know, try and do something, you know, a little bit more wearable, a little bit more every day, you know, but I like this. I think for me, this is wearable, something I could wear all the time, but everybody's different, so. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.